what is going on subs and welcome back to another video today we're gonna go do some snow plowing at the bp gas station just down the road we're gonna have to fight the snow because city um which is us our department is not done plowing them streets i am going to try to do a live stream uh hopefully soon i don't know timing wise it might be before this video or after this video but Definitely do some more live streams. Very interesting to plow the uh, interstate on this map. We'll definitely save that for the live stream. Some big snow piles here. Look at that plow raised up. Looks like we'll still move a little bit of snow. So you can see off to the right here our previous um, snows that we've had, bigger snow piles. The ones off to the left are done with speed, so get them all to the curb and then really get up on the speed and throw that snow. So we're using the GMC single cab from Ben Campo. Uh, go check out his YouTube channel. modding, which is his choice, so it's not up to anybody else. Let's figure out where these entrances are. Should be one around on this side. So, when you're plowing snow, make sure you got your 4x4 the enhancing. You definitely have the strong farmer. And then I use the time speeder upper of things like 6,000. Got to build up speed, and that's how you plow. Looks like we found some parking spaces. And if you guys didn't catch my plowing update video, uh, Wood Metal Farms, known as Adam, actually listen to my snow plowing vid we did right there in that intersection we showed off some of his vehicles and now they're 4x4 you don't need the enhancing mod but all the other vehicles need it so they're 4x4 and he just enabled them to be 4x4 permanently so let's get to some plowing so we're using the Whiteout Plow Western Contractor Grade from HD Modding. This will be down in the description below. Please respect all links where they're at. They're in the original place. I cannot stress about that. Uh, if you want to hear how I feel about the community, definitely go watch the recent Mod Spotlight. I think it got put out. It was over the holiday weekend. Definitely listen to the end of that video. And thank you to the Austin, Austin the Farmer for allowing me to use, well not really use his mod, but you know, use his mod as an example. So, I realize how much that model actually costs because I've actually seen it, so. Definitely respect the modders. Like I was saying in that video, you know, the two F-150s I've done, the 99 and the 2018, they were both basically 150 bucks. I think the 2018 was a little bit more, but the F-150, the 99 was custom made, and those were $150 without an interior from Lobster. And then I paid the $150, or obviously make a model, you know, have them make a model for you to pay. A little bit more and then they'll come back and sell it for less. So that model is now 75 bucks. And I can't highly stress to you guys, um, I had an issue when I did that with another person. And let's say someone calls you out and it's with buying, you know, a model or something. And obviously I didn't know that BT actually bought because he has the same truck in real life. Obviously it must have been a popular year. 
and he was trying to bullshit me, trying to lead me on and stuff, and I finally said, if you bought the model, show your receipt. I don't care if you, you know, if you bought it, so be it. So, anytime that someone calls you out, um, it could be in a store, if you walk out of a store and says, hey, did you really buy that TV? Like, just whip your receipt out. I don't know why people have to fight other people when you have to show proof that you bought something, because in that current, in that situation, fighting only makes it worse. Fighting can land you in jail. So, or worse, you can get banned from the store. So anytime that someone comes up to you, um, it's really big in UPS, actually. Um, one of the guys that I worked with um, had some earphones, and one of the full-time supervisors came around and said, hey, those are stolen, I need to see a receipt. So, keep receipts, take pictures of them, do something to keep them documented. You can buy a, a scanner where you can scan them into your computer, because I know those, they don't really last. So, always keep records of what you buy. You can have bank statements, if you use credit cards, debit cards, like I do. So, always have proof. It saves you a lot of headaches. And proof in the modding world could be simple as talking to somebody. Like, let's say you have a little modding group, and let's say you start on a project, and then just out of the blue, someone else starts the project, but it's after you. Show them that you were working on the mod maybe days earlier, or months earlier. Or you can show them that it's not their model that you use. I had that situation too. So, Proof can go a long way, so always keep proof. Try to have some some form of proof. That's how I was able to get out a lot of stuff in this community. So proof is everything. That's why you need proof of insurance, proof of an ID when you get pulled over, because cop ain't gonna take your word. Trust me, he won't. Alright, let's see here. I don't want to push the snow past the islands here, so we're going to make a pass in front of them. Get some speed. And speed is also everything with plowing. See how we're going 5-6 miles per hour, and it's just kind of pushing it right off the plow. We go faster, like I showed in the previous mod spotlight. You can really just get it out there. You can probably get it out 15-20 feet from the plow. get some screenshots here. I always forget to get screenshots. And you want to know how to do this, go into your actual modding or farm simulator folder, find the game, I think it's an XML file, open as an XML, and switch the developer tools to true instead of false. And then you just press the, it's like right below escape next to the one key little scribbles or something, I don't know what they actually call it. And then you press zero, and then have the player camera, or actually that's for outside the vehicle. You can also use that. I hope you guys enjoyed the McDonald's and the uh, Plowing the Country Roads. Applebee's. We're definitely going to be doing a lot more maps, so put your suggestions down in the comments below. It could be, I don't know if the stock maps were, but we can definitely test them out. I know Ravenport was a pretty good map, even for a basic map. Hope you guys had a good Labor Day weekend. Uh, mine was pretty well packed, went a bunch of miles, and 
had to go on the boat. I do like the realistic uh, snow plowing way better. Uh, this has probably been the best version of Farming Simulator, or at least the season mod. And this is definitely why I play on PC. So, if you guys are looking to get a PC, there's a bunch of companies out there. We just had a bunch of sales for the summer holidays. Try to throw some stuff down there in the comments below if anything is still alive. You can do the Apex gaming that the squad does. You can pretty much do whatever you want. The best way to do it is to slowly buy or like build your stuff, but slowly buy it. So like if you get around obviously a holiday like Labor Day or Memorial Day or Fourth of July. When I did my PC, um, I kind of like missed it, but I had the opportunity to, I think it was, get a motherboard and then get like a 500 gig um, SSD card for free. So you can get special offers like that. We had some issues with the billing and stuff. I had a friend build it for me, but you know, there's some offers like that you can get other stuff like cooling fans you won't get any like gpus or anything but <laughs> okay if you don't have to buy a hard drive you can put more money into a gpu and really for gpus i would probably go from when go lower any lower than a 960 which is what i have with four gigs of ram you could do like the 770s, but you're only going to probably be able to play on really low settings. You can get pretty much any iCore you want. Like you can even do iCore freeze, but it has to have a lot of, um, I think it's like CP, I don't know, it's like GPU or something. Like, oh, it's gigahertz. You want, you want more gigahertz for any of the iCores. You can buy low budget builds that have an iCore 3 in it, but it's like 3.20 gigahertz, which is the speed. So that's what you want. So like you may be getting an i9, but make sure you get enough, you know, CPU and I do believe there is a snowblower in the works right now. Let's see if I can find it here on my phone. It's one of the Facebook. It's not a Facebook group, which is nice. Uh, let's go to my save stuff. It's, on, it's roaming around Facebook. I'll try to find it and give you some updates down in the description below. That'll definitely be awesome. Have a snowblower. It's basically right now what you could use is this uh, milling machine. You can edit the 
the end of the shoot so you can actually point it. Which is probably just flipping around a bunch of codes. Because right now it's set up to when you do control I it's searching for somewhere to dump it to. So you probably just have to switch that to mouse feature. Like this. I'll definitely try to get some people involved uh, this year since the snow plowing is 10 times better. So look out for posts on the Facebook group or the community tab. Looks like we are finishing up. If you guys made, if you guys made it to this part of the video, you guys are the OG subs. Let me know in the comments below. Put a timestamp down in the comments below. You guys are awesome. You guys are Patreon supporters for Lambo mods. Let me know in the comments below. We'll start giving some shoutouts. Because we had a really big milestone with the Patreon, over 200. I haven't really checked recently, but hovering around there. Do a little first person camera see the little little flags on the end well with that guys I hope you guys enjoyed the video my little rants uh, definitely take my word advice because it will definitely help you in the long run so and we'll see you guys later. All links will be down in the description below. Definitely turn on the post notifications so you have your chance to win a random Steam game. The more views we get, uh, I will be able to do bigger games. So right now it's kind of just random. Put your game suggestions down below. Maybe we can start raffling off. And with that, I'll see you guys later. Enjoy the school year. And we'll look forward to the next summer. Peace.